Hello and welcome to a Jarvan Top video. We have Grasp, Shield Bash, Conditioning, Unflinching, Cheap Shot, as well as Ingenious Hunter. So let me explain some of the ones that you might not understand. In this case, we have Shield Bash. Even though it doesn't do that much damage, the, enti the entire idea is Shield Bash and Cheap Shot together, at least in the early game, allows you to get even like 10, 15 more damage, something like that, right? In a case where you normally wouldn't win a fight against someone if you were to just take quick trades where you just press your W. So you're, you, th you think of it like this, right? When you press your W, you're swinging your HP bar into a bigger number, right? You're going from 100% HP to like 102% HP, right? Because you're, you're, you're getting a bit extra. And then also, you are gaining an additional amount of damage on your auto attack. Right, so you would have done maybe two percent of their. Uh, let's say, let's say, let's say like five, six percent of their HP with the auto attack. Now you're doing, ooh, maybe like six point five. Right. The idea is, in general, you're going to win the trade. I mean, I'm, I'm explaining it through this court, uh, kind of manner because I feel like it's a little bit important to look at it through a literal sort of lens to convince you. Right. I'm not just gonna say like, oh, you just trade better. Okay, this guy wants to trade with me. Maybe I can get one more. Ah, I got creep blocked. I swear I got creep blocked. I knew he was walking up for this Q. Um, and I felt like the only way I could win that trade afterwards. Ah, shit. I'm not paying attention. See, I'm not paying attention. I'm level 2. I'm trying to explain this goddamn concept. Um, yeah, like level 2 is a very clear case of like, they have more stats than you. They're going to win that trade. <laughs> All right. Lead by example, I suppose. Um, okay, at least I know that he doesn't have his W. So I can maybe trade here where I W and I hit him before he gets enough uh, rage. Ah, too obvious with it, hey? Oh, I can still hit him. It's all good. Maybe he dashes forward. Yep, there it is. I'm going to try to slow him when he presses his W and bait him out. If he Ws my shield, he just destroys the entire shield. Renekton is one of the only cases where you literally just lose a shield. So he's going to block me from this cannon minion, but I'm just going to flag it. I'm just going to flag it. He might just dash forward and stun me here. No, it's all good. It's all good. Pop my other pot. Okay, they can't dive me. This guy is over here. Should be good. Poke him. Set up my minions. Make sure I'm getting my farm. Oh, I didn't shield it properly. Oh, but I did slow him enough so that he could get hit by the tower. It's pretty good, actually. Ooh, this, this drag one minion thing doesn't actually work that well if this minion dies right away. Yeah, okay. There is a technique to try to make it slow push back towards you. Oh, shit, that's bad, that's bad. Eh, I'll take my recall here. I have my TP. He's gonna have the TP. He can't push us in too quickly. I will prioritize my... Um... Here, the goddess here. And the build is to go towards Titanic Hydra. Titanic Hydra, to me, very important. But before I do that, I do need a cloth armor. I'm getting my ass rammed. Even though in my mini runes, I took two armor. You know, because I fucked up that trade. <laughs> it didn't really matter. If if I didn't fuck up that level 2, I think it would have been slightly better. Ah, oh, I'm so slow on that, eh? Okay, getting my minions. And he's going to walk up just to prevent me from freezing. And then he'll take his back afterwards. Makes sense. All pretty standard. More auto here on the cannon. Okay, good. Ah, damn. Okay, drag the minions to the left here so it's a little bit more of an equal standpoint. That way it's not going to funnel in. And then this guy... I mean, this guy's going to get wrecked no matter what, but at the very least, the other two are, uh, were there ready to support that other melee minion. Oh, it's so nice that this ma uh, minion doesn't get hit here. I believe he TP'd. That was too fast for a walk. Poke him here. Now, I don't know the status of his wards, whether he warded earlier or not. I wasn't paying too much attention. Okay, this is clearly a warding pattern. He walks up, and he wards. He dodges my Q. He knows I want to Q through the minions and do that. But either way, I have to Q there. Just make sure I get my minions. If I go for auto attacks to, to last hit those, I'll get hit. He could dash in here and definitely uh, hit me, but I'll just make sure I W. If he, if he leaves with his W, then I'm kind of wrecked. Oh, he couldn't get that W off. He's going to use a second dash here. All good, all good. I do want to hold the wave here. Just constantly threaten the gank. I will ping that there's a ward. If I can stack up my grasp and get a free hidden, it'd be really nice. So one way to maintain my grasp is to Q like that. Now I block his E damage, and I hit him with a sheep shot, shield bash. 
Little numbers, little numbers. Eventually we'll get bigger shields, and then our shield bash will actually be um, good. So you can actually go Taste of Blood instead of Shield Bash. Uh, sorry, uh, Taste of Blood instead of Cheap Shot. But my hunch was I actually wanted to damage a little bit. No matter how small, making sure that he doesn't have a crazy HP lead on me makes it so that diving is a little bit more sus for him. Okay, He's wary of the gank, but he should know by now that there's no gank. Make sure I W his thing. I'll get my Q buffered into his, um, his W. This is really important. You can buffer pretty much like every ability in the game as long as it has a cast time. Okay, Not many things actually get cancelled by a stun. So if you're going to get stunned anyway, just buffer your abilities. Just buffer. Oh, I almost got my W off. Fuck, dude. Fuck. If I shielded that and survived, I would have been able to ult him after. Fuck. It's too much damage, eh? Yeah, that's the champion. At least I have Tiamat now. That's the champion. That's the difference between something like a tier goddess buy and like just getting a warden's mail or some shit, or like two cloth armors. But it's an investment. You have to get the tier. Your your mana lane's kind of ass. Guy use alt and flash. Wants to get this. The reason why I can't chase this is because I'll lose my wave. He knows that. He knows I know that. Typically in higher elo, you'll you'll encounter this idea of both players understanding how to play the system. So best case here is because of these two minions, actually these are low enough that I can let it be equal, but I don't think I should let it be equal. Even though I'm risking him freezing this, I'm going to try to push immediately for the benefit of Tiamat. That's so sexy though, actually. Yeah, and I don't think he can freeze in time. Oh, that's so sexy. Nice. Yeah, Renekton is just a way better champion than Jarvan. So I'm not ever going to claim that Jarvan should win this. It's just you can kind of go equal, and maybe I was able to bait there if I played it properly. It's missing for a long time. No flash R. I'm gonna bait. I'm gonna say I can bait. So he's building Blade of Rune King. This is interesting. Um, this does a ton of fucking damage because his W it double taps, and more importantly, his Fury, uh, his Fury W triple taps. I'm gonna just use my abilities, pretend I'm baiting. Hopefully he E's for it. What is that jungle pet? What? Did he see that? What was that jungle pet? That is some bullshit, dude. Oh my fucking god, he turned around to W? The, the Renekton turned around to W. If he got that and killed the Jax, I would have been so sad. Ooh, I missed my EQ. That's the issue. Yeah, that champion stuff. He actually dashed in a in a weird way, in my opinion. I thought he would dash back towards this wave. He dashed towards the bushes, which, if I think about it, yeah, makes sense. You want to play in the range. Uh, sorry, you want to play out of like um, the range. If you get into a bush, doesn't matter if I can press Alt. Um, I can't see you, right? Okay. Well, thankfully, that guy bought me uh, a little bit of my lane back. <laughs> I don't think I can go Tunneler here. If you think about these stats, 1580, 250 health, it's not going to make much of a difference. Plated Steel Caps, though, preventing his on hits, it will. Right? Well, not, not on hits, I, sorry. His auto attacks. Because he's going to get a ton of auto attacks out, especially in tandem with his W. So, if I want to play defensive, I don't go for the health thing. I delay my, my, my uh, what's it called? Titanic Hydra. But good good thing about that is that you don't actually have to finish the Titanic Hydra. You can definitely... Um, just stand on Tiamat and you still get the same amount of wave clear, you know what I mean? Well, not maybe not the same amount of wave clear, but you get a similar amount, right? Tiamat or not, or sorry, Titanic, Hydra finished or not, you're still getting the ability to just clear a wave right away. So I'm going to try to sell the bait by doing the same thing I, I, I always do, which is Q. In this case, he actually dashed forward. EQ in one. Hide my EQ position by going to the bush, and then we fight. Good. So it's really important to study that right there. If I walk towards him, he can see where I'm going to be EQing from. Obviously, he knows I'm coming from the left, right? But if I step into the bush, he only sees the flag come out. And then, you know, Jarvan flies at him. I could be at the top of the bush. I could be near the center of the bush. The general idea is that extra little masking 
is worth it, even though you're putting distance away from him, right? So your EQ is slightly, it's going to contact him slightly slower, but I'm hiding a bit more of it. That's the gamble that, I, that I'll take. Sometimes what I'll do against opponents is I'll literally step back. I'll step backwards like this. And then I'll EQ towards him, just to give him a brief moment of respite. He'll think, oh, I'm safe, but not really. Nice, good. Go for a kill. He's going to ulti on me. Fuck. I'm down to die for the team. Just run away. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, guys. I'm, I'm willing to do that. I, I mispositioned after my ulti. It's fine. As long as these two live, it's chill. Hmm. This guy has flash. We can try. I don't have ulti, but he doesn't have ulti either. We can just get the flash at the very least. I will prevent him from getting his cannon without a fight, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He understands the threat. Jax retreated to his topside jungle. Jax doesn't necessarily have to back in that case. This guy's sitting in this bush right here. I can be a bit of a cheese lord. Get a free hit in there if he's recalling. Otherwise, I'm just going to go push. If he comes out of this bush, I just run down. Should be fine. As long as I don't use my uh, my E. You can use your Q because it's a lower cooldown, but don't use your E. Because you need both spells to be up in order to EQ. But the lower cooldown one, also the better wave clear one, <laughs> can be used. So. I can hit this. I can maybe... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will EQ through him. Get a free auto for grasp. If he chases me, he loses. Unless he's got his team... Ah, he's got his teammate there, doesn't he? Fuck. It's okay. I'll fuck with their time. Maybe he won't check here, you know? I'll fuck with his time. It's fine. Nah, he knows not to chase. Yeah. And Echo doesn't want to waste time either. I'm going to go back and... Grab my wave here. He knows I'll EQ over the wall. He wants to poke me beforehand. I'll get a grass bottle in. He tried to auto W me. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure he had the timing too. Okay, so really important right there, micro detail. If you want to rewind on YouTube, it's really good to do this. And shift, um, shift comma and shift period are your time controls, okay? If you want to slow it down. I made sure to not last hit that minion, uh, that melee minion. Because I knew that if I last hit that at the exact time that the tower was going to um, shoot it. Hold on, let me get away from this guy real quick. Get a free auto win. Um, if I last hit that, it would have shot my caster minion on the left a lot faster. And I would have lost that. So by delaying my auto until the last moment that the tower hits the uh, minion, I was able to basically... Oh, he's going to turn around? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I made him turn around and I used my 175 range to hit him. Um... It would have shot that caster minion and killed it. I'm going to threaten the um, the freeze and also prevent him from proxying. When people, when top laners push a wave in, they, they will typically go behind and just proxy your wave. Or at least they can threaten it. Okay, I have my item here. I don't actually want to... This is a sus recall location, but I was confident this guy was playing back. Because if they knew that the Akali moved, then the Jax moved. And this guy doesn't know whether or not I backed. But I did back, so... He's just going to be pushing by default, I guess. If he doesn't see me, if he thinks I backed, then pushing is good. If he thinks I didn't back, it's still okay because the likelihood that he's going to get ganked in his head is pretty low. That's my assumption because, yes, they were chasing, but he's assuming that Jax is probably either on the Rift Herald or just doing his clear. Um, or in the other cases, uh, he thinks he has no choice and he has to push that shit. <laughs> I mean, he could just last hit in the middle, but... I can't really make sense of what he did just now. Other than him thinking that I just backed. That makes the most sense, right? The other cases, he would just do something different. Yeah, yeah I had a feeling I would miss that last hit. Okay, maybe I can Q him here, maintain my grasp. If he pushes forward, I can get a hit here. I'm going to turn on my Titanic Hydra early and then buffer that. You notice I stepped back there because if I hit and I got stunned on Tower Aggro, that would have been a really bad trade. But because I shielded... Uh, well, I can't shield the W, but because I... Shielded him, so I got the shield bash, um, just for a brief moment. Cheap shot, Titanic Hydro active. It was a pretty decent trade. That's probably my teammate. Yeah, that's right there. So I'm not actually going to insta-push this. Because I have a better position in lane, I'm actually able to threaten him off minions. Until he realizes that my team's not actually here. So he missed one melee minion just now. I always do that. I always EQ through, them and, uh, through him, and he's... He started to notice that, so he's actually stepping back now. Oh, I missed two minions there. Fuck. 
Uh, I don't know if he can. Uh, he can definitely one shot me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can one shot me. He probably knows his thresholds better. So if he walks up to me, I can be confident that I'm getting one shot. The only thing I can do is just run the fuck away. Or just clear the wave. Nice, nice, nice. I, I have to position for my EQ. Ah, <laughs> fuck. My flag went away, dude. They tweeted, uh, I think Froxon tweeted, like, is there any quality of life change for your champion that you like? I'd like to see a timer on my flag. I can't count a perfect eight seconds, guys. And I don't know if my flag is going away. I have a general idea. You can use your E cooldown. So if your your E lasts eight seconds. So if your E is on a two second cooldown, you know it's going away. Or if it's like three seconds, you know it's going away in a moment. But still, like, just give me a fucking timer, man. Like, it's so simple. Just a small little ring. You can re, you know, you can use the restart um, timer from Arena, like, couple things you can do so i'm not going to tp just for a couple of minutes here if i had a feeling that this guy would push which i doubt i would ever have a feeling unless he's like you know healthy enough um i would i would tp but i'm not tp in this case so with ingenious hunter we actually get a lower cooldown on our titanic hydra which is really nice which means that normally instead of getting one every 10 seconds you'd be able to get you know one in every like 6.6 .6 because 33 percent and then at the 12 second mark, you get two, two hits. Or at 13 second mark. So it's quite a bit of a DPS increase. And you have really nice synergy with the rest of your build, right? Because we did the jungle build with Fimble Winter and Eclipse. Now we have a pretty sick offense option. Not that you can't do this in the jungle, but in lane, Tiamat, it's a little bit better. Spending 1200 on Tiamat in the jungle when you don't really need it to clear doesn't really make too much sense. I do that way too often, don't I? Oh shit, they... I didn't expect them to gank me here. The moment the Nocturne ulted, I'm like, I'm sure the Nocturne can do it, and I'll ulti it, then I'll flash out, but I didn't expect the Galio. Fuck, that's my bad. Next time, I'm gonna EQ towards the Renekton, actually. That should be my play. I'm EQing away, I should EQ towards him. Force him into getting hit by that, and then get a free auto in. It's rough though, it's rough getting ganked like that. I shouldn't uh, I shouldn't be limit testing like that. Okay, anyways, I have my two items. He's only on one. He um he probably has a lot of money in the bank. I can start playing with a team now, I think. I'm gonna TP behind. Hmm. They're TPing too. Nice, we can get the echo. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Let's call that a film winter. Defrance. If he goes for me, I EQ away. Ah, too slow, too slow, too slow. I needed to EQ. I didn't need uh, I needed to not wait. I had to assume that he was just on me. And then even if he follows my EQ, I still knock him up as long as I'm in the EQ animation. Not necessarily true. Um, he can take the EQ knockup while he's uh, unstoppable during the ulti, but that was my best bet. Instead of waiting for him to land, I definitely should have went for the other one. Okay, let's go for Unending Despair. This one, you know, instead of going Eclipse, I think I'm going to just build these two as a core. Unending Despair and Fimble Winter with Ingenious Hunter to me is way too much value. Way too much value. I need the AD, AD. Uh, oh, actually, I'm wrong. Hmm. I only need armor against these two. The rest I will need to build uh, MR. I think I might have benefited from just getting like a Negatron cloak and then going straight into an ending despair. It's a decision on like who's stronger, right? If you look at just straight kills, straight gold, clearly Echo and Hui are gonna be a lot stronger. But am I gonna be interacting with them? That's an important question to be asking. If not, if I'm gonna be matching Renekton on side lane, I could have 300 MR and I could be really good against Hui, but it's gonna be worthless if I'm never playing against Hui. Does it make sense? So something to consider. A ward here. Got scanned. I think I'll just shove in the entire wave. Yeah, we're pinging to go. He wants to drop Harold. Does he have Harold? No, he just wants to hit it. Hmm. He wants to dash through me and kill my Jax, or just kill me. Okay. 
We both missed our CC, but thank god that Renekton got, uh, got killed in the end. <laughs> it's a lot harder than you think to land uh, point blank CC. This is a fucking crazy call. Are you sure? Are you sure, bro? I'm gonna go with the no. I wasted my time. I should just recall. <laughs> in these cases, I need to follow my instinct, man. What the fuck? I am not going for that. <laughs> Anyways. As long as you keep combat with champions, either by queuing them, maybe you have a DOT or something, you can just consistently proc uh, unending despair. I shit you not, this is a Silas item, man. This is an attrition Silas item. I will play attrition Silas, and I will see how it feels, because I swear to God, this is going to be good. Try to angle this right. I think this gets both. Yeah, yeah. What? What? Displacement? Unlucky. Okay. Well, we have some pretty uh, pretty strong lads. Maybe we can go for a fight. We're gonna have to. Might as well drop a ward here. I have no haste in this build, which is unfortunate. I only get little bits of haste from uh, my my two second uh, my my sorry my two tank items. Titanic Hydra first. You you don't get any haste. That's the issue with Jarvan. I think you might want to put like three points Q and then max your E after. Reason being. Whether or not you can EQ is dictated on your on your EQ. Uh, sorry, uh, both buttons, but on your E primarily. Reason why I say E primarily is because your Q is almost always going to be up in comparison to your E, right? You can generally use two Qs in the time that it takes to get your E up. Or at least in the past, you could. Now it's a little bit different. Try to not give him free autos. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, get a knock up here. Important to knock up the Renekton. Let's look at the rest of the map. Yeah, yeah, their, their, their team's not here. I'll just go forward. Go into the hay. Or hui, not hay. <laughs> Misspoke. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. I, I, I'm good with that. Getting that fucking hui. Hmm. I can definitely feel the difference in not having the ability haste, man. Holy fuck. And also the Q nerf. You can't go back to your uh, your flag as easily. I think it was a good nerf, right? Like, it, it, it shut down a lot of what Jarvan could do. That was a little bit infuriating for people to play against, right? Just queuing back to the flag over and over. I, I can understand that. But I'm down, you know? If it requires more skill to play around, you can't just spam EQ all day, like your rise, you know? Just EQ, EQ, EQ. Then, you know, you can be a lot more proud about being a Jarvan player instead of just like a meta picker, right? Okay, can't wait to get this fucking item. This is gonna be so fun kiting people with this shit. If I go into a group of three and I survive off of that, oh, I'm gonna fucking laugh, dude. Because um, it tracks the numbers, but they're kind of worded pro improperly. I don't know what intern fucked up with this, but damage shielded 2163. Very good so far. Very fucking nice. Extra damage for Titanic? I can't tell. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why they don't track that shit. It's a little bit annoying, but it's all good. Um, but I do know that Unending Despair does track it. So that's nice. They're TPing? Oh, they're TPing. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I needed to TP early. It's all good. Hit that bitch. Force the Echo to ulti. You have to go back. Let's chase this motherfucker. I'm gonna flash. <laughs> Where's he going, bitch? Where you going? Fuck. Nice, nice, good hit. Good hit, good hit. Yo, I might try some Fimble Winter Echo, man. Some tank echo. Tanko. Any dude, I've been so inspired by Arena. After experimenting in Arena and understanding that holy shit, there's so many champions that have slows that are also melee and can benefit from Fimble. Like goddamn, like I, I need to fucking play Fimble on everything. This fucking noob. What are you doing? O tier. Get the shit, get the shit, get the shit. Please, please, please get the shit. Smart that shit! Okay. Good thing their Nocturne decided to just leave. I saw the Nocturne fucking fly at my teammate on my left. I'm like, what? He could've just went for a steal. Amazing, dude. Fucking amazing. All right. Noise, dude. Now we get our, uh, our MR. It's important we get our MR while also getting the most broken fucking item to synergize with all of this, dude. Holy shit. All healing and shielding effectives, uh, effectiveness on you. 25. Wow, English, dude. I'm, I guess, higher or something. 
Let's look at our summer, uh, summer numbers. Cheap shot, 931, 39. That's pretty decent. It's true damage too. Shield bash. Fucking, oh, I didn't even know. That was true damage. Holy shit. So it's guaranteed at least 10 at the start. Yeah, let's go for the dragon, hey? Shield bash is going to start racking up numbers, man. I'm going to W and it's going to hit with shield bash. Um, with a Fimble Winter bonus. What's up, bro? Hmm. Alright, let's check some numbers here. Fimble Winter. Up to 34.53. Healing done, not much. Zero. Flat zero. I'm just going to go in. I'm literally just going to go in and we'll just see. Alright, we'll see my damage. Oh my god, I didn't hit that guy. Try to find this fucking way, man. Let's just ulti him. Oh god, that feels so good, dude. 280... Wait, where's my damage though? Uh, the healing shows, but not the damage. Dude, nice. I love that. So if I'm getting this right, we just divide by um, 2.5 to get the earlier number. So I did at least 100 damage, alright? Because it heals for 2.5% the um, damage you do. Ooh, that is a fucking wide range. Holy shit, what the fuck was that? Bitch, get fucked. Ah, let's go, dude. This is a beautiful build, man. I love this fucking item. Such a great fucking item. Let's go. Now we have Exodia, okay? Just Exodia. If you want to cap this off because it's 3 AP, you go Wits End. This is such a sick item, too. I know it lost its AD, but 55% attack speed is one of the highest attack speeds in the game. Attack speed scales with um, on hit and vice versa, okay? Because you're getting more attacks. Sure, you'll think that AD is really good with uh, attack speed. But honestly, on hit is fucking crazy with attack speed too. That's just how it works. Let's keep this wall up. <laughs> fucking noob. Try to dodge my EQ. Chill. Let's go. I don't like this guy. That guy's actually a piece of shit. So I'm glad I'm winning against him. Nice, dude. And I'm in I'm in combat with champions, right? So I'm just going to zap him. I'm going to zap him every time I'm near him. Just keep my combat up. <laughs> it just keeps going on, on cooldown. I have to be near them, though. That's the issue. Slightly near them. Ooh, walk away from that. I'm still getting knocked up. It's all good. Dude, I can't die. Try to zap him. <laughs> Dude, I wish I had an indicator, man. Like like a, like a circle around me. I don't mind, you know? What in mind? I don't have much haste, though. This fucking... I feel so sluggish. But I don't even need haste, because everyone else lost haste as well. That's the really important thing I'd, I'd mention. No one has haste, bro. Like, I'm 25, 65, because he built the items. 18. Jax has 55. Compared to like 70, 80 from the past. Oh, I'm not used to hitting Titanic. So good, man. So good. Oh, and I shield that, dude. 68, 67. This, uh, this healing done, I, I don't know if that's bugged. It's probably because I'm not standing next to people. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, I'm going to get fucking the, the, the value from this, this item. Oh, dude, I'm a monster. No, the short flag, dude. I hate that so much. Please, Riot, please change that. The, the, the flag that you have your cursor on should be the flag that you go to. Fucking A, man. Oh, I have to flash that. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Yes, dude. Holy fuck, look at these numbers already. Dude, I just bought this item. I just bought this item and a couple W's in the fight. Holy fuck, can I check this? 1600, 2000 from Shield Bash. I love this shit, bro. Not every game's gonna be like this, but my god, that was fucking... Like I, I, like, I know you guys won't think that I'm being genuine when I say it like this, but I was genuinely having fucking fun. Nice, dude. I might play some more solo queue, dude. Awesome. GG.